Let us pray, the angel Luz, who is stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For far to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood, its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Let's all stand.
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we gather here today to celebrate the Holy Mass, let us reflect on the words of Jesus in today's Gospel reading where He speaks of new wineskin for new wine. Just as the disciples of John questioned Jesus's disciples about fasting, we are reminded of the importance of openness to change and growth in our spiritual journey. And as we turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the ultimate example of humility and obedience to God's will, let us seek her intercession to help us be receptive to the newness of that Christ brings into our hearts and souls. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, we may be set free from present sorrow and, to, and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, On that day I will raise up the fallen heart of David. I will wall up its breaches, raise up its ruins, and rebuild it as the days of old, that they may conquer what is left of Edom, and all the nations that shall bear my name, say I, the Lord, who will do this? Yes, days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the vintager, him who sows the seed, the juice of grapes shall drip down the mountains and all the hills shall run with it. I will bring about the restoration of my people Israel. They shall rebuild and inhabit the ruined cities, plant vineyards and drink the wine, Set out gardens and eat the fruits. I will plant them upon their own ground. Never again shall they be plucked from the land I have given them, say I, the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The Lord speaks of peace to His people. The Lord speaks of peace to His people. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for He proclaims peace to His people. Near indeed is His salvation to those who fear Him. Glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to His people. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall lead, yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Please all stand. My sheep shall hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one patches an old cloak with a piece of unshrunken cloth, for its fullness pulls away from the cloak and the Tear gets worse. People do not put new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the skin bursts. The wine spill out, spills out and the skins are ruined. Rather, they pour new wine into fresh wineskins and both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear friends, in today's gospel reading, Jesus responds to the question about fasting by using the similarity of new wine and the fresh skins. This passage emphasizes the difference between the old ways of doing things represented by fasting and the new way that Jesus brings with him represented by the new wine and fresh skins. Ang fasting o ang pag-ayuno ay isang pangkaraniwang practice among the Jews, lalo na sa mga pariseyo, 
upang magpakita ng kabanalan at mas mala mapalapit sila sa Diyos. Gayunman, nagsuggest si Jesus na sa panahon ng kanyang presensya, hindi kailangan ang pag-aayuno dahil siya bilang bridegroom ay kasama pa rin nila. Ipinapahiwatig niya na dapat silang magsaya at magdiwang sa halip na magdalamhati. At sino ba naman ang matinong tao na magdadalamhati o nagdadalamhati o agladingit habang nagsasayahan sa gitna ng piging o sa gitna ng selebrasyon? Another thing is, ang pagkakatulad ng bagong alak at sariwang balat ay nagtuturo sa atin ng mahalagang aral tungkol sa pagtanggap ng pagbabago at pagiging bukas sa mga bagong turo ni Jesus. Gaya ng mga lumang sisidlang balat na hindi maaaring maglaman o maglagay ng bagong alak nang hindi ito magburst o pumuputok. Hindi lubusang maunawaan o kayang tanggapin ng rigid mindset at mga gawain ng mga religious leaders ang mga turo ni Jesus. Kaya ang bagong mensaheng hatid ni Jesus sa atin ay ang nangangailangan ng bagong pag-iisip at diskarte na kinakatawan ng mga sariwang balat ng alak. Now, Paano natin ito i-connect sa ating buhay? We can see the relevance of this passage in our own lives. Sometimes, we become too attached to the traditions, routines, or ways of thinking that may hinder our growth and understanding. It can be challenging to let go of old habits or Beliefs, especially if they have been deeply implanted in us. However, my dear friends, ipinapaalala sa atin ni Jesus na mahalagang maging bukas sa pagbabago to embrace ang newness ng kanyang mga teachings. Kung paanong ang mga lumang sisidlan ng alak ay hindi makapag-preserve ng bagong alak, ang pagkapit sa mga lumang paraan ay maaaring limitahan ang ating spiritual na paglago or our spiritual growth. Kailangan nating i-cultivate ang ating pag-iisip na maging flexible, receptive at handang i-adapt sa mga turo ni Jesus. And additionally, this passage reminds us that Jesus brings a message of joy, freedom, and celebration. While fasting and religious practices can have their place, they must not overshadow the joy and freedom that come from being in the presence of Jesus Christ. We, as people, need to focus on cultivating a relationship with Jesus, rejoicing in His presence and allowing His teachings to shape our lives. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray to God, our Father, that He may bring us closer to the values of the Gospel to renew the church and the world. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, the people of God, and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today the ever new language of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize that the pure miracle of change is always possible for those who seek Christ's help in attaining it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become channels of Lord's caring hands 
to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of risen Lord Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer and teach us the art of living as new people. Set free the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Oh, 
listen. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
is He. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let's all stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, Regina, Mata Misericorde, Vita Ducero, Espes Nostra Salve, A Te Clamamos, Exus A Te Suspiramos, Gementes et Lentes, In Ac Lacrimarum Vale, Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes aplos, ad nos convene. E Gesù, benedictum fructo ventris tui, no peace, or so can see you, For us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made towards you the promises of Christ. Let us pray, Almighty and everlasting God, by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, you prepared the body and soul of Mary, glorious Virgin and Mother, to become the worthy dwelling place of thy Son. Grant that we, her, by her gracious intercession, in whose commemoration we rejoice, we may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death through the same Christ our Lord. 
Amen. Our Lady of Pia, pray for us. Please kneel for the prayer for the sick. Loving Father, we pray for the healing thoughts of your Spirit to our brothers and sisters who are now suffering from illness or disease. In love and in prayer, we reach out to them so that we may bring your loving care, goodness, and kindness by being present in their time of need. May they be strengthened and consoled by the compassion of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who has shown us the redemptive value of suffering, so that they may be able to offer and unite their suffering to that of Jesus, our Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, our Lady of Piat. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Good morning and have a blessed day. Good morning, Father. Please kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over time within me, and calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. The no dearest mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.